Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, June 16, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you will hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we did drop below the 50 moving average um, and managed to rally up towards the 40 exponential, but still we're ending up underneath the 40 exponential. Technical indicators, they are looking uh, terrible at this current stage. MACD is very bearish, that's uh, RSI is bearish, that's CCI is bearish, and so is the stochastic. We're approaching oversold uh, conditions and we were way overstretched here in the bullish band. And that's probably the reason why we managed to pull back at the end of uh, the session. So um, at this point, it looks like we are going to continue going towards and testing the 50 moving average yet again. We uh, basically broke from these highs and now we're basically tasting the lows. So the last time we basically tested this was uh, way back here in uh, the beginning of uh, May when we were right at the 100 moving average. So if we drop below the 50 moving average, then the 100 moving average will most likely get it, uh, come into play, which is at 1396. So we should be in significant oversold conditions uh, by then and will probably bounce from the 100 moving average. To the upside, uh, 1424 will mostly be massive resistant. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen. And as you can see, we uh, we basically haven't managed to get to, to uh, 110 and um, have started to break down. If we break down from here, then the uh, 20 exponential at 109 should be where we'll find support. Uh, if that basically breaks, then we have the 40 and the 50 and all the way down to the 100. But uh, at this current stage, we may see this target 100 uh, 110 as that is also the top of the bullish band before we break back towards the middle of the bullish band. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, we can see the RSI is flat, the CCI is bullish, and the stochastic is bullish as well. So let's look at Euro, US dollar, we are down up 0.03%. It has been going back and forward today. It has been a very volatile, especially in the uh, precious metals and uh, commodities market. Uh, we saw massive moves, especially in copper. So if we look at this, we can see that we tried to rally up towards the 20 exponential, got rejected, rally, broke down towards the very bottom here, and also rallied and ended up basically where we started. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish. We're entering bearish territory as well. And the RSI is also bearish and CCI is bearish. And the stochastic is turning around here. Um, could mean that we'll try another run at the 20 exponential. If we basically break the 20 exponential, then we could go back towards the 12.25. We're also at the bottom here of the bullish band, so a rally up towards the middle of the bullish band could be expected. Break above here, and we're talking about 12.25. To the downside, 150 should offer massive support, as um, we can see right here when we basically bounce from the 150. That could be something that we'll see yet again. So let's look at the Aussie US dollar and this continues to fall and it looks like the 200 moving average down here at uh, 0 0.676 is going to be the target here. So MACD, very bearish, does RSI as well, a lot of room to the downside. The CCI is also bearish, the casting is bearish. We are approaching the bottom of the bullish band, so a pullback could be expected before continuing downwards, but it looks like that is where we're going to uh, whether or not this holds that's going to be interesting because if it breaks then we can drop all the way down to the 300 moving average and that is roughly a drop of 2.8 percent to the downside from where we are but still we are kind of within this square still we have not tested these previous lows at 0 0.7653 uh, so we'll see what basically happens when we get to that point so let's look at the US dollar and the Canadian dollar. And this continues to rally. We're at the 50 moving average approaching the upper resistant line. And um, yes, uh, if you look at technical indicators, they are all favoring the upside at this current stage. We are significantly overstretched here. So a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band could be expected. That's a drop of roughly 0.71%. But at this point, we are rallying and destination will most likely be um, first of all to this upper uh, uh, trend line or resistance line as we can see we have 
rallied up to these points, broken down, rallied. And that's how this has been behaving for several months now. So if we manage to break significantly above here and also the 200 moving guys, so then we could be talking about uh, um, basically a trend change. But until that basically happens, we'll just stay within this channel. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.